guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines so last episode we worked on these last two towns one is a forest industry we have a small forest industry over here well it's not really forest industry it's like an area i guess i don't know i get this it's pretty much the same word like industry or there's a zone and then there's area and it's just like i just end up mixing matching them it, it's basically the same thing it's just you know like there's industry areas i think those are called like yeah those which are the city run ones and then there's districts but those have its own designation for what they are so it's like i don't know i i just i end up just finding a word that's closest to resemble it and i'm just like okay whatever <laughs> Anyhow, we got these two things done. There is a bus line going through here. There are uh, some issues, though, with the bus. Um, mainly, I don't know if there's a bus going through here right now. Doesn't look like it. Not at the moment, at least. Okay, there's a bus. But they're at full capacity, so we might want to get um, the lines a little bit more stable uh, like look at all those people right there right so we might need a couple more buses i think uh to get people between the uh cities and stuff and that should help with the congestion a little bit along these roads as well so don't really want to be putting in something larger but if we have to we will okay so let's go ahead and just check that bus loop um did name out so it would be a little bit easier to find. Uh, I believe it is Express Line 1. So we'll set the um, funding a little bit higher, I think. So maybe, okay, how many are we? We have like 200 people, so. At a couple stops, actually, and then a hundred. So we might need like eight vehicles, maybe. We'll bump it up to eight. We'll do forty-two percent and see how that works. And if that's still not enough, then we can always increase it. I think we already have the best bus too. Yeah, we already have the best bus with eighty capacity. So hopefully that can help uh, with the the line we'll see how it turns out there, sh there should be a few more that enter the uh, line in a couple minutes but
So I'm starting to get that um, place all set up. It's about the same size as this one over here. Might be about a little bit smaller actually, but um, what we currently need to do is get the water into there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that all this is disabled. And we can just follow the road as we need. And we'll bring the uh, heating and stuff over to the um, town over here. Just trying to follow the road so it makes it a little bit more cleaner for the pipes and stuff. And generally, water mains and stuff are under roads. At least in North America for the most part. So, that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, I'm going to bring it right up to here. And then we're going to turn all that on, minus that one. And we can bring this to here and then connect that up. That way everything's aligned with the roads directly. I just do it freeform with the uh, curvy roads. So it's a little bit easier to get to. So I'm going to bring that. Whoop, I think I went a little bit over on that one. Bring that down. Bring that up. Bring this this way. go and then we have this side to do and then we'll get electricity over here and then we can start zoning things okay and that will leave us a little bit of room to still get that way if we need to though I don't think there's any purpose of going that way since we can just go around this way because the next area is in this general flat area which is going to be a pretty big one I think Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. It's going to be a rain there, though. And we'll see if we can't get that done today as well. Alright, so next is electricity. So we're going to need to bring... I would say probably bring it over here. Follow the line down. Uh, we can disable the uh, lines again. So we can have a little bit better placement. I will bring it up to there, I think. That way it's all hooked up. And as far as zoning, I think over here we'll have the industrial resident.
So one of the things that I've been looking at, I put a um, boat hotel in, which looks pretty nice. It's a um, pretty big hotel thing. <laughs> there's the uh, ship there, and then there's some smaller ships. I don't know if those are actually hotels or not, but there says there's like 85 rooms. So I assume that there's all of these boats that are like, these are probably private ones. and That's probably makes up most of it <laughs> but um uh i was looking at the thing oh maybe i was wrong it just spiked back up um uh, i don't know what time of day because they don't actually have a time specific time thing going on but i thought what was going on was it had to do with the business opening hours and closing hours but that might not be the case because it's now back up to 15 and pretty much the high part but oh maybe it's maybe it is opening hours maybe it's just closed for like businesses are just closed for a little bit because there was hardly any people at this uh, place before but now there's quite a few of them so Maybe it has to do with where the people, the tourists that are checked in go? I don't know. Um, right now there's a lot of commercial people going to commercial buildings and stuff, but there's like 36 out of... I wonder if that actually equals up to 85. 15... I would have to calculate that. I'm not sure if that's that equals up to 85. So we have like 40, 80. No, that's that's over 85. That's um 55, 95. I think 40 plus 40 is 80. So 80, and then add five. That's 85. So 90, 100. I think 100 uh, spots. Unless I got that wrong. 40, 80, 5, 90, 100. Yeah, 100. There's 100 things. So that doesn't equal out to all the rooms. So that can't be true. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is it would be influenced by the places that the tourists that check in there, which we have 73 gas, actually go.
so we got this area done we got our houseboat thing a boat house or houseboat it's a boat hotel and then we got a tourism district and some regular commercial or residential and I think I put some office buildings in here as well just some random IT buildings and then that way there's still an industry area for that particular one for this one we went with farming and I think we went with uh, green commercial the um, local produce and re self-efficient buildings I think for the residential yeah we went with self-sufficient buildings so we got those two parts done um, already starting to look at over here for development and we'll probably do that next episode uh, for the series and figure we'll tackle that tomorrow and then we have two more um, episodes to do after that so yeah there's going to be just some rounding stuff rounding up uh, getting things sorted out and uh, looking at some of our traffic issues if there's any traffic issues I mean I know that it's gotten quite busy along this highway so we might need to consider upgrading the highway or something like that we'll see what we can see it looks like some of the traffic's doing pretty good along here but um, there are some intersections like this one that is pretty busy so I need to figure out how it's happening and if there's any ways we can try to improve it see where everyone's going so maybe making a bypass or something like that just some general things that could be causing the issue I want to try to address so outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out